Today, I'm going to be making a dirt cake. This recipe was sent to me from Michelle on Facebook, so thank you, Michelle, for the recipe. Uh, you will need one package of Oreos crushed. You can see I've already crushed them. You need eight ounces of cream cheese softened. You need a fourth stick of butter. You need one cup of powdered sugar, three cups of milk, you need two small boxes of instant vanilla pudding, and I chose the sugar-free. And you need uh, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and you need 12 ounces of Koip cool Thawed. They only had, this is a bigger uh, package of Koip. Cool it came in either eight ounces at Kroger. It came in either eight ounces or, um, it was the, another like 12 ounces. So. I had to get it in the 16 ounce. So, um, I could not get it in 12 ounces. Did I say that right? It came in eight and 16. It came in eight and 16 and they did not have 12. I don't know if I said that right the first time. So I will have to try to figure out how much to get out of here for the recipe. But first I want to make my pudding. So, and you can use of course, regular instant pudding. Uh, you don't have to have sugar free. That's just, me because I don't think honestly that anybody will notice a difference so that's just what I chose but you're gonna take both packages and three cups of milk and you're going to just uh, mix this together really well with your spoon and then you're going to put it in the refrigerator and we won't pull it back out of the refrigerator again until it has set. I ended up using an electric mixer. I didn't realize I was supposed to. I was just gonna try to do it with a spoon, but there were too many chunks. But you can see it's already starting to set and I haven't even put it in the refrigerator. So I don't think it will take long at all. So I'm gonna get this in the refrigerator and then I'll show you the next step. So we're gonna cream together. This is the cream cheese. I already took it out and put it in the bowl. We're gonna cream the cream cheese and the four stick of butter, the vanilla and the powdered sugar. And I think I'll get these two going first before I add the powdered sugar. Okay, the pudding literally only took like five minutes in the refrigerator. That's how long instant pudding takes. It doesn't take long at all. I had it in this bowl and I've cleaned it and switched it to this big bowl because the directions really didn't tell what size bowl you would need. Uh, however, you're gonna need a big one. I took, uh, I measured this and I took four ounces out of it. So this is only 12 ounces right here. And so you're going to uh, fold this into your pudding. Now you're going to mix in your uh, your cream cheese mixture. So we have that over here, and it is very heavy. So Okay, I stirred it up pretty well. Um, if you had a mixer, you, or like I used my KitchenAid earlier, you could have probably used it for that. However, the recipe wasn't clear. It said mix, but I, I guess it, it didn't say stir, it did say mix. So I guess I could have used the mixer for that part, but I didn't, and it stirred up pretty well. So now what you wanna do is you want to start, uh, you're gonna layer. Um, and I'm gonna start with a layer of cookies on the bottom. And if you had a trifle bowl, uh, you could use a trifle bowl, which are, are tall uh, uh, circular bowls and uh, they're, they make really pretty um, looking desserts. So you're just gonna put this right on top and that's, that's what you're gonna do for the entire dessert. 
Now, this is a smaller bowl, so if I have some left, what I plan to do is make uh, single desserts because I have some like pudding cups and I can layer this in the pudding cups. If you have special glasses, like we have some martini glasses, you could uh, layer this in a martini glass and I just think that would look, uh, be really cute. So I'm gonna continue to layer my cookies and then my cream mixture and we'll see how it looks at the end. show you this is how much I had left and everything fit into that smaller bowl I'm just absolutely shocked if you look on the side I, I could have been paying more attention to make sure my Oreos were all the way over on the edge but I didn't think about that until I'd already it was, it was almost finished I've never made this before so uh, that's just uh, just a rookie mistake I guess uh, but Kevin and I are going to try this so we'll see just get down in there and it's gonna get messed up anyway it's not gonna be perfect yeah so this is this is how it looks it looks really really good and uh, so we'll be right back to try some for you well the directions say chill until ready to serve but everything's cold now and we're ready aren't we we're ready so <laughs> we're ready to be served <laughs> so It's good. It's good and sweet. Mm-hmm. You can really, really taste the vanilla. You okay. can. The vanilla pudding. I think that's good. It's good. It's good and thick. It's got a uh, thick consistency to it. Um, you get the crunch of the Oreos. I wonder how crunchy they're going to be in a day or two, though. I don't know. But you don't mind. Like, when we make banana pudding and you use Nella wafers, yeah, I don't mind them being mushy. Yeah, Kevin doesn't mind the mushy Nella wafers. So it will be interesting to see if you like a mushy Oreo. I'm sure you will. But this recipe, it seems like, you know, you're not adding the Oreos until the very end. You could use any cookie. Mm -hmm. You could yeah. put any cookie you wanted to in that. You could. And Oreo makes all these different flavors now. Uh, it would be awesome to try, like, just the birthday cake. Get the birthday cake Oreos and put those in there. Or some of the, if you wanted to make it more seasonal, then you could have one of their seasonal flavors um, and put that in the dessert. Mm -hmm. And then it would be perfect. It's Imagine good. the cinnamon bun. That'd probably be good. I think cinnamon bun would be very good. Of course, good. there's not a lot of the filling in here overall, but... What like do you the, mean? The cream. Oh, yeah, that's true. So you probably get some of it. You probably get some of that flavor. Yeah, and I think a golden Oreo would be good in this, too. Yeah, golden Oreos are good. Either. Yeah. So, uh, make sure if you make this that uh, you put it in the refrigerator until it's ready to serve. Michelle, thank you so much for uh, the recipe. I appreciate it. I hope everyone else enjoyed it. If you make this and you maybe do it a different way or you have some other ideas, please leave them in the comments because I, I'm always excited to hear what you all do at your house and thanks for watching.